Today, we are giving you our review of the Miele Triflex HX1 Cat Dog Vacuum Cleaner. Actually, is that what it's called? So guys, for those who don't want to hang around, let me just tell you straight out. This is the best German Shepherd dog hair management system on planet Earth. All right, let's get into the nuts and bolts of this review. What qualifies us? to give you a review on how good this vacuum cleaner is. Well, in my opinion, you can watch all the reviews in the world with these vacuum cleaner technicians and sales experts vacuuming up all the, the mushed in cereal that they put into the carpet and they give you the demonstration how good it is. But the real ultimate test when it comes to a vacuum cleaner, and this should actually be a thing, can a vacuum cleaner survive living with a German Shepherd? We already know this is probably the greatest vacuum cleaner on earth. Now, don't get me wrong, there are still cons with it as well, and we're gonna get into that very shortly. But let's go through the pros first. One, the design, it is sexy, it, it speaks like class, and it's definitely, look, if you don't have a little bit of dispensable money, I wouldn't recommend to get this. But you know, if you've got a little bit of spare cash and you want a really clean house, especially if you own a German Shepherd, this is freaking amazing. Now, it looks sexy, as I said, it looks quite slick, it looks like the Lamborghini vacuum cleaners. Uh, what I really like is, if you see here, this is the main component where all the, the engine and all the, all the debris goes into. You can have it down the bottom here, which manages the weight really well, or you can have it up the top, uh, which allows you essentially get really low under uh, beds and, and tables and things like that. Uh, it's more personal preference. I personally like it up on the top handle there, but I think my wife actually likes it down here because it's better weighted. So it is what it is and that comes down to personal preference. Clipping and unclipping this thing takes a matter of seconds and you get all the attachments as well, which is amazing. Now, running time with this thing is, you get around about an hour of low mode running, uh, around 35 minutes of medium mode, and if you want the high intensive uh, kick ass mode, you get around 17 minutes. Now, when I was reading the reviews and the specs of that, I was just like, man, 17 minutes, because we, we have to run this on high mode all the time to get all the dog hair out of the furniture, the upholstery. I thought 17 minutes was like, that's not enough time. But it turns out I can vacuum this whole place in about 10 minutes on the high mode and have to I have to empty the canister twice in that. When I was researching the things like the, the top of the line Dyson that essentially competes with this, their high mode function only goes for about seven and a half minutes. So that's that's about 40% of the time that this can do. So a high-end Dyson, if I wanted to run the, the ultra hardcore settings, I wouldn't be able to make it through the whole house. So that would just be annoying. So I'm super glad we went with this option. So in, in the cordless hardcore vacuum cleaner realm, 17 minutes of kick-ass mode is definitely very, very, very good. So probably the next most important thing, apart from how it performs is uh, storage. Uh, it's quite an easy thing to store, especially if you have it configured the way I have at the moment where the drums at the bottom and you can put it in any corner or behind something in the house and it's out of the way. Uh, and if also if you want to display it, as I said, it looks pretty cool for a vacuum cleaner, which is weird, right? Now the performance, the hand-on performance, which is probably one of the most important parts of this review. Now I'm going to just have it down the bottom here display the actual outputs of of spec power with the vacuum because I'm not that into vacuum, so I'm not gonna like know all the digits off the top of my head. But working with this thing hands-on is epic. Now, it literally sucks every little strand of dog hair that we could never get out before 
out of any area, nook, crevice, or cranny known to mankind in this house. Now this dog hair gets freaking everywhere. And I mean everywhere, can penetrate anything. We have able to manage the amount of dog hair in this apartment for the last three weeks, as long as we've been living here. And this is the best management system that we've ever had. Now, previously to this vacuum cleaner, we used to have to vacuum every day just to stay on top of it. And we had floorboards. So it, technically it should have been that hard. This place we're in now is majority carpet. We're managing, we're probably vacuuming about every second day and it takes us 10 to 15 minutes to get through the whole house. So we've essentially halved our vacuuming and this thing does a far better job than anything we've ever used previously. So now that I've finished blowing uh, smoke up the pipes of this incredible vacuum cleaner, what are some of the cons? Now, there are cons with this vacuum cleaner. So let's get into them. Now, one of the obvious things is the canister size, which you look at it and it looks kind of small, right? That's what I initially thought, but that's not the half of it. What's really annoying with this vacuum cleaner is the canister, how much of this little canister you can fill up. So let me, let me just show you the canister size here. So you can't, one would have thought you could fill up the entire canister in one vacuum. That is not the case. You can only fill up to where my finger is here. That's about a third of the canister. We have to empty the machine about two to three times to go through the whole house. Is it a big deal? No. But uh, it's just, it's something you have to consider. Uh, if it's important for you to have a massive amount of storage for the debris, I'd probably look somewhere else. So, but for us, throwing it in the bin, again, is not a big deal. Another, another annoying part that's to do with the, this canister system is it's a little bit fiddly to empty. So obviously we have to empty it probably two to three times when we do the house. Again, is it a deal breaker? For the performance, absolutely not. Like this the performance is incredible, but it's just one of those things you have to consider and if that's important to you. Another thing that's a little bit annoying is there's no aftermarket canisters where I could, I don't know, I'm, I'm more than happy to pay top dollar for a canister twice as big, but there just doesn't seem to be that availability at the moment, but you never know, there could be down the track. Now, I suppose another con when it comes to just cordless vacuum cleaners in general is on the high power mode, it only lasts around 17 minutes. Now, for that kick-ass high power mode in the cordless vacuum cleaner realm, as I mentioned before, that is exceptional. But still, I would love it one day or somehow if these companies could create a battery for it where maybe I could get the high power mode for an hour straight. I think that would be cool. Now, these are just minor gripes with it, but at the end of the day, the, the performance, I can't get past the performance. It's absolutely incredible. So the question is, do I recommend you go out and spend 1200 bucks on this vacuum cleaner? My answer is yes. Yes, one, if you have dispensable income or that thereof, and you have a dog like ours and you really want to have a super clean house, well then absolutely, this is worth every single cent. So guys, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to give you a demonstration on how it picks up the fur off the carpet. I'm going to ferminate Lucy, so de-shed her on the carpet. I'm going to mush it in, and then we're going to vacuum over it. I'm going to show you how well it picks everything up. Let's go. So this here is an accurate representation of day-to-day -day life with a German Shepherd. That got all of it. Look at it in there. So guys, that is our review of the Miele Triflex HX1 Cat Dog Vacuum Cleaner, which I think that is correct. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe for more videos like this. And also, please comment below if you're looking at getting one of these and this video helped. I'd love to know and hear about it. Until the next video, guys, we'll see you in the next one.